everyone, my name is Santosh Gupta and welcome back to my Arduino series. In this video, we're going to cover recalibration. We covered calibration in a previous video, but in that video, we calibrated this manually. Um, in this video, we're going to learn how to calibrate this um, using our program. So, this is our code. Um, the main difference is this while loop here. Um, I actually got this from the Arduino website. Um, they have a whole section on calibration. And so let me explain what this code does. Um, first we introduce three new variables. Uh, sensor max is supposed to be the maximum uh, value um, input our maximum value of the uh, calibration portion of the code. Sensor min, this is the minimum most value of the sensing portion of the code. And this is the actual what sensor value, that's where our signal is going to be recorded to. So this while loop, it's going to run for 8,000 milliseconds or 8 seconds. So let's go run through all these lines, loop around and do it again until 8 seconds is up. Um, so it's going to go through, it's going to read, um, let's go read our analog pin 0 from the sensing part of our, of our device. Um, it's going to, it's going to deter, determine if that value is bigger than the um, previously most maximum recorded value. If it is, it's going to set the new the new maximum value to the current sensor value and then um, it's going to go through and determine if the sensor value is smaller than the previously recorded most minimum value if it is it's going to set the new minimum to the current value um, so yeah it's going to go through this for eight seconds and it's going to de it's going to determine the uh, most minimum and maximum values. Other than that, the code is pretty much the same. Here we have the mapping command, um, similar as shown last time. The main difference is that these two values, instead of um, manually measuring them, they are they are measured by our code. Um, this is, is this is not on the uh, Arduino website. This is something I added by myself. The purpose of this is to stabilize the code. I noticed that if the if in this section, if the value, if the measured analog signal is outside of this range, the code stops working. So what I did was I increased the range of the uh, minimum and maximum values. Um, ideally, this uh, eight-second calibration, uh, this calibration second should measure the minimum and maximum most possible values, but um, it doesn't always do that. So I found out um, in, uh, adding this part um, helps stabilize the code. Um, so yeah, that, and um, other than that, the code is pretty much the same as the um, as my previous. Uh, calibration video. So let's see code, the code in action. Um, let's compile it. And then we're going to upload it. And so right now the um, the code is measuring the minimum and most maximum values possible. Oh, it's done now. Oops. All right. So, take notice of this um, of the pulse rate. We are going to turn our flashlight on now, and the pulse rate is much slower now. Uh, so yeah, great stuff. Um, if you want to learn more about calibration, please uh, look at the video on the um, I linked on the description of this video. Um, that video belongs to my friend who's an, uh, he's an Arduino genius. 
Um, he's actually making a web series, series for UCI about the Arduino. It's a really great, great video. It goes into detail about calibration. Um, so definitely check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.